as we all know, when the town purchased the 45 holes of golf, uh, an initial consulting team was hired and they provided a report in 2017. And a natural uh, fall out of that report was for various reasons, geographical being one of them and design of course, is that the Push Ridge nine hole course should be treated or considered differently than the 36 hole uh, courses at La Cunada. Um, the thought process at that time, which there was a consensus to, was that potentially uh, the HSL, who originally sold that property or the, who operates the Hilton, would potentially take back the operation of the nine hole push golf along with the surrounding HOA's participation uh, because they were very vested in it. Um, when we discussed golf again uh, last year, the same premise was discussed that the Push Ridge nine hole course would basically go back to operation by HSL um, along with participation from the homeowners. Um, contractually, the original sales contract called for the town to issue a declaration of quote, abandonment of the golf course, which then gave HSL the option to lease that course from the town for 50 years to operate it as a golf course. And once again, the homeowners had basically, uh, well suggested they'd be happy to try to participate with HSL in our process. Throughout the entire process, we never discussed closing the golf course down and abandoning golf on that course. We always discussed the fact that the town would effectively let HSL assume operation of it as a golf course. And that was on track until COVID hit. And then COVID hit and it decimated the resort hotel industry, which of course is what the, the Hilton is. And it came to our attention, the towns and the council's attention that HSL was not sure that they were financially able to continue operating that golf course or to take it over for operation because of the, the dramatic decrease in their revenues. Uh, council responded to that. We um, agreed to an extension of them exercising their contractual uh, option of leasing that nine hole course. Well, once again, it came as a shock to a lot of the golf community and to the local surrounding HOAs that all of a sudden now, that might not be a golf course because HSL was not in a financial position to operate it. Um, the residents became very concerned. Uh, they felt like it was a major change that had never been discussed by council in a public meeting. Um, that was the uh, reason for bringing this agenda item on because uh, it caught us all by surprise. So we never really discussed the future of the Push Ridge Nine whole course other than, well, HSL will take it over along with the homeowners and will continue as this special golf course. 